And this is where he's at now, slow motion. So quick when you don't have wasted space. Slow. Same guy. Quick. Slow. See the difference? I'm a little exaggerating, but that's wasn't always like that. Sometimes it's like that. Sometimes like that. Sometimes like that. But now you're like this. Okay, you're down, loose, more wrist, less shoulder, right? Center, straight line in the center of your chest, straight line, peace line. Yeah, baby. Suavecito. Okay. Slippery so like this. So the first thing that I would point out, keep, keep filming, okay, go, go back down in filming position. So what we're looking for is separating ourselves, okay? And the big separator is not your ability just to catch the ball, because most infielders do catch the ball if you're a starting infielder at a pretty, you know, in a quality program. The question is how you catch it. What does it look like? Uh, where is their tension? What is your posture like? So if you watch them get down in your filling position, okay? Okay, go ahead and throw the ball. So you're gonna see that he looks relatively stiff in his hips. Your knees are like this. See how, see how mine, like this? You're like this. See the difference? This versus this. I have greater hip flexibility. So I have this hinge where I'm able to go lower. When he starts getting lower, he starts going like this. Now he's still down there, but look at the difference. There's a level of stiffness to the eye. So when the scout sees that, or the Division I recruiter, he goes, that's not a shortstop. He's lucky to be a third baseman because he's stiff. But when you're stiff, your actions actually are slow, and you're limited to certain movements because you're stiff. And the key is to be quick and efficient low to the ground. And if you have stiffness, you can't move quick and efficient low to the ground because you're limited. So he's getting very strong and very physical, but we have to make sure we don't lose that flexibility. When you look at a Dominican infielder, they have an unbelievable amount of flexibility. There's not a lot of lifting going on. They're very, very loose and flexible. They move easy and quick low to the ground. So we have to be really conscious of where we're at, because yeah, you're making plays. The question is, how are you making the play? So that flexibility is huge, and I can see it immediately. So boom, went from hands, Exchange, where's the glove going, and now we're going to hips. And you clean all three of those areas up. What happens is, is you take it through athleticism, and you know, that athlete is a plus athlete at shortstop. Right now, you're like a plus athlete that should be in center field until you clean this up. You clean this up, you'll stay at shortstop. 